Hi everyone, hope you're well. Today is Monday the 14th of October 2013. I was about to say 14 for some reason. Um, so today I thought I'd talk about half hour hacks because that's what I've been doing today. I don't know if I've talked about them before but it's a really useful technique I think um, if you've got a really especially if you've got a really big task. Um, but today I haven't got a big task, but I've been using it anyway because I've had a combination of wanting to get the video format plan done, uh, as I keep on talking about, and also playing Hearthstone, because I'm still really enjoying playing Hearthstone. So I decided to use half-hour hacks, and the way it works is... Um, it's usually if you've got just one big task, you spend half an hour on the task and then half an hour having a break. And then half an hour on the task and half an hour having a break. And you absolutely stick to it. And um, it works for a couple of reasons. Um, it might sound like you might think, well, no, if you need to spend all day doing something like eight hours or whatever, then why would you, why would you do that? Half the time you don't need spend half the time in eight hours you'd only do four hours of work but what happens is because you're giving yourself a half hour break every half hour and you know that's coming is the half hour when you're working you can completely focus and try really hard because you know it's only for half an hour and then you get a half hour break where you can go play computer games in this case Hearthstone or whatever you want to do and um, so the the half hours that you are working, like I said, are really focused. And so those four hours of work that you get done are actually really um, focused, productive four hours. And um, the equivalent of like if you spent all day eight hours on something... Um, is for those situations where it's a t kind of task where you can sit there spending all day supposedly working on it, but actually half the time you're not really working on it. Half the time you're going, oh, I don't want to do this or whatever, um, and or you're you know you're just getting distracted, you know, and stuff, and you're procrastinating and and whatever, and um, and then so maybe that's half the time. And you're not enjoying yourself, you know, all that kind of feeling of not doing what you're meant to do, be doing is really horrible. And then half the time you are working on it isn't as focused. And so doing half hour hacks, I think, is a, is a much better way. I didn't invent it. I read it somewhere. I forget where I read it, but I think it's a, I think it's a widely known thing. I'm not sure if the actual origin of it is known. Um, maybe I should have researched that before starting this video, but I find it a really useful technique. Having said that, I haven't been super successful at it today, and I have actually spent more time playing Hearthstone than I have actually working on the video format, but um, I think I have done more work on the video format than I would have done otherwise had I not remembered this technique, had I just sort of like tried to do the video format for a couple of hours I wouldn't have got a lot done I'd be thinking wanting to play Hearthstone and then I'd be going and playing Hearthstone for a few hours and feeling really bad like I should have been working but instead of that I've felt really good all day and I've done a bit of each and um, so I think the format plan is almost ready I keep on saying that but I think I'm going to do some more this evening and then I think starting tomorrow I'm going to actually start using it on videos that I already do, including maybe these vlogs, but maybe only certain things I'll do on these vlogs. So I don't want to make these vlogs hard work. Like I've said before, I find them really useful just for my own records. Um, but it would be interesting just because, you know, hard, if so few of you actually watch them, um, it would be interesting to see the effect of just some small you know metadata things just as as an experiment on these but i don't want a huge audience on these because um i'd have a lot of complaining i think from people not really getting the point that these are these are public but they are really for me rather than anyone else um and uh uh, uh i forgot what i was going to say yeah so 
I'm going to start actually implementing things from the list and and that's a good because I've been kind of putting it in the order of that I need to do stuff like on the checklist and things so by actually doing it I'll I'll kind of test it in a way to see if it is in a practical order and things like that um, and then it should be like basically done and um, and in Hearthstone I've 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 made a deck that I'm pretty happy with and um, I've grinded up to Diamond 1 today so I'm really trying to get up to Diamond 2 because it was really fast all the way up and now I'm kind of stuck so um, I don't know if it's done on percentile or if it's like a certain number of people and maybe it's just all the players so up in Diamond and Master and that's why I'm now stuck in Diamond 1 but um, but also the competition gets better as you get higher so the deck that was just smashing its way all the way up to Diamond is now 50-50 in Diamond where it was about is winning about two thirds of the time before. Um, so that's all for today. I hope you're well, and maybe my video format will finally be done by tomorrow, and I'll actually start doing some new content again. So that'd be cool. Um, hope you're well. See you tomorrow. Bye.